city. And we talk about the collar and sleeve guard. This is like the number one guard, right? Like close guard, obviously everybody says close guard is the most fundamental uh, position to be in. When you're on the ground, you also want to try to get your close guard and you can escape, sweep, attack. But the grip, your hands, what do you do with your hands, right? You're like, oh, what do I do with my hands? You open the collar, your strong hand is going to go in the collar as high as you can. Like you try and grab the tag, you hang on. Your other free hand that isn't doing anything is going to grab the sleeve on the same side. Right, so I'm not going to reach across, same side sleeve. I'm going to make a spider guard grip. So my four fingers on the outside, my thumb does not stay in, it comes out. And I'm just maintaining control with my four fingers. Right, so I'm going to be just like this. So this position right here, one, keeping the guy's posture broken down. Two, I need to be controlling at least one arm here. Right, when I'm hanging on to this, my arms aren't just relaxed. I'm not laying flat on the ground here. Right, I want to make sure this, this grip is tight. My arm isn't pulling him, I'm just hanging my body here. Next thing you're going to talk about is just the most basic sweep or the number one sweep we have, which is going to be the scissor sweep. When I go to scissor sweep, the arm that's extended, that arm's going to go on the floor, or excuse me, that leg, same side leg's going on the floor. So my right arm is extended, my right leg goes to the floor. I'm going to shrimp my body slightly away from my partner. Shrimp. And now, instead of my leg traditionally, what you'll see is this, where the leg goes down here. If you're in this position, there's nothing stopping you from collapsing on top of your leg, putting pressure in, passing. So the first thing we need to do is a knee shield, right, to keep them away. So instead of my knee being down, my knee is up in his chest. From here, I'm going to push with my shin, okay, and this leg stays up for right now, and pull with my arm here. There needs to be tension. I'm on my side. I'm not on my back. So I'm pushing and pulling here, making it very uncomfortable for my partner. When I'm ready, I'm going to complete the sweep by dropping my leg down next to his leg, right? As I do that, this knee comes down also. Now I'm ready to sweep. The top of my foot is making a hook next to his hip. If I was in this position here, I'm ready to sweep. Down, down, and now I'm going to pull and push. Pull, push. Look, I hang on to everything, climb to the top. My hand still stays in the collar, okay? For right now, we'll just stay like this. This hand comes off, you put it on the ground. It's almost that rodeo position where I'm riding and looking to catch him in some type of attack. So one, two, I shrimp away a bit so my knee can come in. Look, I'm, like I'm pulling him and driving my shin in. Sometimes when you go to sweep, I have space here, when you go to sweep, you can't get the guy over. Like the guy just has a strong base leg here, yeah. So look what I do with this foot. I take this foot out, put it on top. My foot's on the floor. Okay, so it's not up here on his thighs. It's right where his knee is hitting the ground. Now I push that knee out straight as I extend my leg to scissor. So I'm here, going to sweep. His leg is strong. Push, sweep, back on top. And look, I let go of this hand. And I'm ready to attack or do whatever I got to do from underneath here. Okay? Thinking of all my great techniques. Put my foot on the floor. And I go to sweep him here. Sometimes we use more power than we need to, right? I get my good stretch, I'm here, and I'm pushing, right? Maybe I go for the first technique, I'm or I, or I feel the guy, right? When I was training with him before, maybe I tried to attempt this technique before, and he beat me on it, okay? Maybe during the roll, or you know, a couple minutes before, a couple days before, a couple weeks, years, whatever. You gotta have an elephant brain, you gotta remember stuff like this, <laughs> right? So when I go for the first one, I'm like, Ugh! nope, I'm like, that ain't working. So I, now I do this. Now this can be your third option, it could be your first option. The leg that's creating pressure, all right, keep my knee shield up, I'm gonna extend that leg past him, all right? So I go to do the technique, not working. I extend this leg to go past, now watch this, it's gonna happen in one motion, and my body's gonna turn and swing. So I'm here pushing, turn, swing, arm lock, okay? When I do this arm lock, I'm hanging on to the collar still, the arm's extended, over the back, trap, heel to butt, heel to butt to hold him. We talked about this last week, you have options here. I can hold the arm, hip up, finish, or I can drive my hamstring and I'm pushing my heel to the ground to uh, finish this choke. So I'm here, and I start to push, very uncomfortable. So I have the control of the sleeve here, put on the floor, and I got in between and I was able to get to this position. Sometimes, the guy's gonna let you get there. He's gonna be like really tight on his hip. He doesn't, like you have one arm, he's like, well, you're not gonna have two. Yeah, he's keeping his elbow pinched, being really smart, so there's no room to bring my leg in. So instead, I'm gonna do this. Let's take a bit of an angle. So instead, I'm gonna do this. His arm's in, there's no space for me to bring my shin in. I'm gonna go over his arm. So I'm here, put my foot on the floor, 
Of course, if you're like a super athlete, you don't have to put your foot on the floor. Put my foot on the floor, and I'm gonna shrimp, and now my leg goes over here. Now when I do this, I'm pinching down, keeping shin into him, and almost the same thing, except this time when I shoot my leg straight into this triangle position, let your body turn. Actually, you could go into the arm bar too, I guess, here, but this is when you cross. You see everybody crossing their feet when you have the body. I don't have his body anymore. So I have to cross my feet like a thigh master, pinch my knees and like an arm bar. But we normally use this to go to the triangle position. So he's here, I go over his arm, go to triangle position here, trap him. Hips up, arm across, and then pull him back down. Grab the head with two hands, one over the other, do not interlock your fingers. Now, the side that his arm is trapped on, that foot goes on his hip. Turn so my leg is longer, I grab my shin, I go over, this is important. My toes are up, heels to the floor. So when I'm here, toes up, make a little hook, over, look, two hooks, pull my heels down to squeeze, not flex my toes, right? Like, the people that aren't so good will tap anyways. You go like this, they're gonna tap, okay? But the guys that are good are not gonna tap. You have to almost like put them to sleep before they tap. So I grab the back of the head, hips up, pinching all four directions. 